Today we're going to install the Gator Recoil on this 2019 new body style GMC Sierra. Now this is the same install for the Chevy Silverado. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is lift up the canister. I'm going to set it up on top of the bed caps up against the cab of the truck. Now the rubber flap that hangs off the end of the canister needs to hang over top of the bulkhead. Just scoot it forward. Just like so. All right, now that we have the canister in place, we're gonna go ahead and center it side to side in the bed of the truck. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is find our passenger side rail. This is the passenger side rail. You're gonna have kind of a shelf that's gonna sit on top of the bed cap. You're gonna have an open channel that faces to the inside of the bed. And then at the end of the rail, there is a little hole that's threaded that goes towards the tailgate. That's how you can differentiate the passenger side with the driver side rail. Driver side is gonna be the exact opposite. It's gonna be your mirror image of this. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this rail upside down on the bottom of this rail, I'm going to see a channel. Now, in your kit, you're also going to have some hardware. Uh, within that hardware, you're going to have some nylock nuts, some black nylock nuts. What you're going to do is insert six nylock nuts into that channel. The nylock portion of that nut needs to be down as you're holding this upside down. And so you just go ahead and insert six of them in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it right side up again. I'm gonna take my end cap. Now this end cap is side specific. Only the passenger side one is gonna fit on the passenger side rail. I'm gonna slide that over top of the end of my rail and I'm gonna have that hole in the end cap line up to the hole in the rail. Now in your kit, you're gonna get a very small Allen head screw. You'll also get a very small Allen wrench. You're gonna take that Allen wrench, insert that screw into the hole that's already threaded and just go ahead and thread that into place. That secures the end cap from the top. Don't over tighten that, just get it nice and snug. Now in your kit, you've also got a large Allen wrench. What we're gonna do now is flip the rail back upside down, take one of our nylock nuts and slide it underneath the end cap. Then take one of these bolts out of your kit. It's got a, an Allen head on there. And we're going to line it up to the nylock and we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. That secures the end cap from the bottom. Um, again, we're not wanting to over tighten them. Just get it nice and snug. Next, go ahead and move some of the nylock nuts out of the way. We're going to bring this one back here. In your kit, you've also got some latch stops. This is what they look like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our latch stops, the open end of the latch stop needs to face the same direction as the open channel. So set that in place. Take another one of your bolts with an Allen head, uh, the short bolts. Get that lined up to the nylock nut Make sure that this latch stop is all the way up against your end cap and go ahead and tighten down that latch stop. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and push our nylock nuts forward again. All right, next we're gonna have uh, our next nylock nut is gonna be about a foot in from the end of the rail. Now we're gonna take one of our clamp assemblies. Um, I like to take the clamp assembly completely apart. So I'm gonna unscrew this bolt from the clamp assembly. And something I wanna show you about this bolt is it's a long Allen head bolt that's threaded all the way from the head of the bolt to the end of the bolt. We're gonna set that to the side and also set this clamp half to the side. In our kit, we're gonna locate a long uh, Allen head bolt that is not threaded all the way down. And we're gonna insert that into the bottom of our clamp. Now we're gonna take the clamp and line it up 
to that nylock and get the thread started. We don't really want to tighten it down just yet though. All right, now our next nylock nut, we're gonna install another latch stop and install it nice and loose. For the next nylock nut, we're gonna install another clamp half exactly the way we installed the first clamp half. And for our final nylock nut on this rail, we're going to install another latch stop nice and loose. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and set our rail on top of our bed cap and then slide it towards our canister. Now, one thing you'll see is the canister has a little uh, rectangular shaped tube that's coming off the canister that has a hole in it. And then you'll also notice that your rail has a hole drilled through both sides of that open channel at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the open channel on the bottom of the rail to that, uh, that tube coming off the canister and it's gonna slide in place. However, the canister is gonna be a little bit too low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna support the bottom of the canister with my knee just to raise it up a little bit. That way I can get that slid into place and then make sure those holes line up to these holes over here. All right, next in your kit, you're gonna have a screw. Uh, it's a black screw, it's got a special tip on it that allows it to cut its own threads. And the head on it is for a T25 Torx bit. Now you'll have a T25 Torx bit in your kit that fits into the head of that screw. However, um, we have a T25 Torx screwdriver, so we're gonna use that. Now, as you fit that in place, you're just gonna turn the screwdriver. It's gonna be a little difficult to turn that screwdriver while it's cutting the threads. Once it's cut the threads, it'll screw in nice and easy until it gets to the other side of the rail. And then you have to cut the threads into that end of the rail as well. So just work at it and it'll line itself right up. All right, next we're gonna take our canister in latch stop and we're gonna slide it till it's about a 16th of an inch away from the screw that we just installed. Now we're gonna take our large Allen wrench and tighten down that latch stop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide my front clamp to where it's all the way up against my latch stop. Use the Allen wrench and tighten that clamp down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and insert my nylon adjustment screw, but before I do that, I'm gonna double check the canister, make sure it has not shifted side to side. I have to make sure this canister is centered side to side in the bed of the truck before I insert this. Now, once I've done that, go ahead and insert the screw and then twist that. It's gonna go all the way through my clamp half until it hits the bed cap. So it's gonna go all the way through there. Now, I'm not going to push against the bed cap with it. I just want it to connect and touch. All right, now, before I install my other clamp half, uh, you'll notice that the bed cap kind of wiggles in and out. I don't want to pinch down on that and that throw off my alignment. So I've got a shim inside my kit that I'm gonna insert in between the bed cap and the metal flange behind that bed cap. Then once I've done that, I can take my other clamp half, put it behind the bed cap, and reinstall that screw that's threaded all the way to the head of the bolt. Set that in place like so, and then use my Allen wrench to just get those threads connected. I just wanna hold this in place. I'm not tightening down yet. All right, now before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the driver's side rail exactly the way that I assembled the passenger side rail and get that installed. Next, with the tailgate closed, we're going to take our spacer tool, set it up on the top of the tailgate, and slide it underneath the rail. Then we're going to take the rail and slide it to the spacer tool. That gives us a perfect 1 8 inch space between the rail and the closed tailgate. Do that on both sides. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our rear clamp half. Make sure it's just a couple inches in front of this point on the bed. Use our 
provided Allen wrench. And now we're going to go ahead and take our shim, put that behind our bed cap. And now go ahead and start inserting the nylon adjustment screw. Now do that on both sides before we go to the next step. All right, next what we're going to do is check the measurement between the rails at the canister end. Now that we know the distance between the rails at the canister, make sure that we maintain that distance between the rails at the rear clamp. That keeps these rails parallel. Also make sure that our gap between the clamp half and the bed cap on this side is the exact same as the gap between the clamp half and the bed cap on the opposite side. Now we can adjust our nylon screw. Next we can attach our rear clamp half. And now we're going to go back to our front clamps, make sure our nylon adjustment screw is still touching the bed cap, make sure everything is still centered, and go ahead and tighten down the front clamps and make any kind of final adjustments from there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull the cover towards our latch stops, pull the cable to retract the latches, that way we can pull our cover out. Now we can slide the cover along the rails and bring it to the place where we want to have our center latch stop. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that to the center of the bed. I'm going to set my latch stops in this location. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the cable to retract the latches. Now I can go ahead and wiggle the latch stop into place to where the latch goes into the latch stop. Now I can go ahead and tighten down that latch stop with my Allen wrench. And then do the exact same thing on the opposite side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take one of our drain tubes and we're going to route one end of the drain tube out of the bed of the truck. If you have a drop-in bed liner or a bed rug, I usually just find a hole uh, next to my tie-down hoop and route the drain tube through there. And any kind of runoff water will find its way out the bed of the truck. Um, if you have a uh, spray-in bed liner or no bed liner, you generally want to drill a little hole in the bed of the truck and run the drain tube out that way. Then we can go ahead and take the other end of the drain tube, fit it up into the bottom of the canister, and let it click into place. And now the drain tube is installed. Do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, now our rubber flap seal only needs to go up to the bed cap. So if you got a little bit that goes over top of the bed cap, go ahead and trim that off uh, just where it's nice and even with our bed cap. Do that on both sides. Now we can go ahead and test the operation of the cover. Well that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.